for those inquisitive minds that are out there, probably more rappers than anything. Curtis King, why are you quitting rapping? Are you quitting? What's going on? Let's talk about it. Rappers, producers, listeners, those of you that have found your way to this video, first of all, welcome. Thank you for coming on in. Uh, there was many questions surrounding when I made the announcement that this would be my last project with Somersault. Uh, there's people who ask, you know, well, why, what do you mean you're not rapping anymore? Why are you quitting? That was a word that came up a lot. And, um, you know, I think it might have confused people because they look at me like I'm 32 and they start to use examples like, you know, the Jay-Z's in the world or, you know, uh, some of my OG's like the Merz's or the Razkaz. And, you know, they're still having very successful careers uh, deep into their 30s, early into their 40s. And they're really finding success still with these models. Why would anybody who loves rapping move on from rapping? And the thing that I've had to do is, you know, and we're going to go into many different subtopics within this, but let me address this first on a personal level. The thing that I had to look at is that what they don't understand is that this is not me quitting. This is me evolving. And I don't think that in hip hop, we're used to this topic of evolving because usually when we associate somebody evolving, we associate that with them falling off. We associate that with them losing touch, with them losing their mind. We associate that with them desperately trying to find a way to be relevant again. And I look at those options and I say, mm, those are none of the above for me. You know, for me, I have to look at the last two, three years of my life and how fulfilling they've been. And in comparison to the last, Lord, 15 years of rapping, you know what I mean? In comparison, the last three years of sharing my value, of going against the grain, of doing videos like this with you and I. This has been the most fulfilling time of my life, the happiest time of my life. And I think I know why. As I start to look back, there's many beautiful blessings that happen. I mean, like I said in the in the thank you video, to work with some of the elites in the industry, to be able to, you know, uh, uh, go on tour, to be able to do all these things are very very much things to be extremely grateful of and please believe I'm grateful for them. However, you know, there are other aspects of this business that people don't speak about enough. And I feel like that's my job. I always speak about the things that other rappers don't want to speak about other, you know, whatever you want to call me at this point, don't speak about. And that it's that all those years of, 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 you know, doing the hole in the wall shows, having shows where it's a lot of people and then having shows with a little bit of people. This is part of the process. Right. And and after years and years of that and kind of going through the roller coaster of emotions and then figuring out, ah, does this really what I want to do? Um, having those emotions that come back and say, of course, it's what I want to do. I want to help people. I want to share information with people. You know, I went through all of these valleys and peaks, saw success. And I said to myself, is this it? Is this it? Is it only going to be rapping? I thought of myself even in the most successful light that I could be, right? I started thinking, is, is this it? Will I just be known as this guy that, you know, rapped well and helped people through his raps? And for me, I knew deep down inside that wasn't enough. So what I want to hopefully inspire you, rappers, uh, even producers, you know, those of you that got into this because maybe, you know, a friend of yours got you into rapping or maybe you just you just had dreams and you wanted to become what you want to become. Don't quit. Don't ever quit. Right. But don't be afraid to evolve. Quitting and evolving are two different things. When you quit something, you're saying I've had enough. I'm done. Or you say, you know what? I have nothing left in me. OK, but evolving is, an, is a proactive way of transitioning from what you're already doing. I've been rapping for 15 years, been producing for 14, 13 years, right? In this place where I'm at right now, I am finding more fulfillment speaking to audiences, speaking to you, seeing the commentary back and forth. It is more fulfilling. And beyond fulfilling, it's actually more lucrative <laughs> financially. So when you talk about some of the reasons why I got into music, I got into music first because, you know, I wanted to be able to have a voice because I grew up shy and I wanted to be able to have a voice in what I'm doing. The videography, the 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 uh, the, the public professional speaking, that gives me a voice. I got into music because I wanted to help people. I'm doing that on a daily basis now. I've made more videos in the last uh, two years than I've made songs. Right. 
And I didn't realize that until I kind of did some self-reflection after this project, but that's what it is. I got into music because I wanted to be able to, you know, put myself in a financial position of security where I could help my family and those I love around me. Well, now that I'm, I, I am, you know, leasing beats professionally, I can do that. And it wasn't necessarily with the help of me being a rapper. That was me starting a business as an extension of who I am, Curtis King, Curtis King Beats, wherever you know me as, the brand. And so with that being said, all the things that I initially got into music or got into rapping for started being satisfied in another another place. You know, and I think that when when and I was no different when when creatives or rappers get into this headspace, they start thinking like, man, like, have I lost it? You know, am I quitting? You know, why? I mean, what is that going to look like? You know, to, to go from doing these shows to not doing speaking, am I going to look like a has been? You go through all of those emotions. But what I'll tell you, the people that make a change in this world are the people who have the audacity to say, fuck it. I don't care about your opinion. I don't care about what you think, because at the end of the day, when the end result looks like the way that I envision it looking like, that's all you remember. You know, this time period now where people are trying to figure out, well, what are you going to do next? I look at that as almost an insult. What do you mean what I'm going to do next? Do you think all I do is rap? You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing to see the people who only experience one, one, one side of you and feel like that's all that you do. What you going to do now? And I tell them, just watch. Just watch. So one of the other topics that I wanted to get into when it comes to evolving is don't be afraid to be inspired by other things, even if you've been doing this for a long time. You know, don't look at your time as a waste of time. I look at my 15 years as I have put in my work. I've paid my dues to the point where when I transition to professional speaking, I'm not going into there as a, 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 a new booty, for lack of a better term. I'm not going in there as a rookie. I'm treating it with the respect that a rookie should, a student, but I know that the experiences that I've had from being a live performer are going to help me there. Now, if we want to get into even more personal business with my son being on the way, I know how much time this takes away from me and the time that I spend with family, that being rapping. Rapping really requires a lot of your time, a lot of your finances, and the return Although it one day it will return back something great to you, the return for the most part in the very early years, you're losing money. And if you're not losing money, you're breaking even. OK, this is the reality of it, at least for me. So when I saw that and I transitioned, I started to think about having a son, having a family, me and my lady. I started to think about all these things together. There's still an opportunity for me to pursue the things that I dream about and that I have now fallen in love with over the last years with the self-help and with with the 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 spreading motivation, inspiration, being a luminary. These things really fulfill me. There's still time. There's still more than enough time. There's still more than enough opportunity for me to do this. In fact, there's more opportunity for me to do it this way. So that being said, this is an evolution. I'm encouraging you. Don't be afraid to evolve in whatever aspect that may be. You know, if you rap and you just happen to be a professional bowler on the side and you're afraid of like, man, what that's going to look like, man, I'll be out here professional bowling. They're going to think I'm who cares what they think. If you're not living a life where you can walk away and be like, you know what? I did that. I did that. I experienced that. I gave it my all. That was an amazing experience. But now comes a time where when life gives you so many different clues, like, look, I'm trying to push you into another direction that is going to give you what you want at your core, happiness, fulfillment. It's really what you want. That's what you want. That's the reason why any of you rappers out there want to be on double XL because of the feeling you think it's going to give you. That's why any of you, that's why I wanted the, the, the number one album in the country because of the feeling that I thought that it would give me walking out of this career. But the truth of the matter is, it would have lasted for about 10 minutes of happiness. Not even happiness, just extreme dopamine spikes. And I've been like, oh, man, this is crazy. And then it would have dwindled off when I started to think about the things I have to do next. The responsibilities I now have being number one. You know, these are things we don't think about. All we think about is the goal. And, 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 and oh, when I get there, oh, we get so obsessive about that that we forget how we are, how we personally are as human beings. So keep that in mind as you start to to. You know, reach out to the goals that you want. Keep it in mind that 
you don't have to be stuck into something because of what somebody else defines you as. You don't have to be stuck into something because of what you define yourself to be for years and years. At the end of the day, you are the captain of your ship. You are the one that gets to determine what destination you want to go to next. As long as it's proactive, as long as you're not quitting because, you know, for some 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 cheap reason that doesn't justify you putting all this time in that you put in. As long as you're evolving, there's nothing wrong with evolving. Don't let nobody else tell you that there's nothing wrong with evolving. There's so much opportunity right now with the Internet. There's so much opportunity in life right now for you to go out there and win in whatever way you want possible. I always tell this story and I'm going to tell you a story and I'm going to close on this note. There was a father who was just like a lot of rappers out there. He was kind of struggling with his career and, and he wasn't really finding too much success. You know, probably having, a, you know, some, some SoundCloud plays and whatnot, but not really finding success. This father, you know, he he was struggling with finances, but of course he wanted to make sure that during the time of the year, which it is right now, he wanted to make sure he can buy a present for his son. His son so happened to like this one particular toy with these little monsters. I forget the name of them. There's little monsters, right? And what the father found out was he wanted to do research before he bought his son a toy, right? He went and did research about the, the monsters, and what he figured out was that these monsters uh, all had storylines. All storylines of leading to why they were and why they looked the way they did, who their enemies were, what their powers were. And so he started doing some research just because he's interested in his son. He wanted to play with his son. Right. Still had this other rap career that he was thinking about giving away or whatnot. And so as he got more and more into the stories of these, these little monsters, he started thinking of like he couldn't turn off the, the part of his brain that wanted to rap. So he started rapping about the monsters. and It was really just for his son, his son's entertainment. He starts uploading these videos on YouTube. He's like, yeah, you know, why not? I'm pretty sure there's other kids that can benefit from it. This guy blows up. He becomes like the international dad of that particular toy company. He becomes the only one of two per, uh, uh, performers at their convention that they have every year. He found his niche. He found what it is that he was supposed to do on his earth. Everybody's not supposed to be Jay-Z. Everybody's not supposed to be... Lil Wayne, everybody's not supposed to be, you know, Lil Pump, whoever you look at. You're not supposed to be them. You already got your own Wikipedia page. You got to start filling out those categories in your life. What did you do in your early life? What were your accomplishments? You got to fill in your own. Don't go chasing nobody else. So for him, he's now known as like the dad of that monster toy situation. But now he's, loop he's, he's in a position where his YouTube's getting millions and millions of views on a regular basis. He's making the money that he wanted to make. And he's doing it through rapping. You know, who are we to judge the means that he is doing that through? He's doing something for somebody he loves so much, which is his son. So that being said, if you can find a way to let life shape you, move you, allow you to sort of finesse the things that you've already built your time into. Do it. Don't be afraid to evolve. Once again, it's another Curspiration Doodle. You need some more of this juice? Please subscribe to the channel below. Be part of the notification gang. Hey, hey, hey. NoFreeBeastClothing.com. I don't want my hands shaking like that. I ain't that old. <laughs> but topic at hand, don't be afraid to evolve. Don't let hip-hop define that for you and what it means to evolve. You can have success. You can have the same happiness you would have, you think you would have gotten from whatever walk of life you first went on. You can still get that same happiness, that same contentment, that same alignment, that same uh, uh, fulfillment. You can have that. Please believe it. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide that life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com when I listen to you, it's a liability Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me